Okay, so thanks to last week's light goal, I am wearing this hot-ass Garfield costume. Thank you, guys. Before the video starts, I just want to say how hilarious would it be, just the thought in your mind, that you got slammed in a gunfight from a kid wearing a Garfield costume. Like, what would your reaction be? But um, we, we have a little bit of an issue here, because this costume's a little big for me. Shout out to your boy Roy for um, basically, you know, giving me the funds for this months ago. Uh, he's the GOAT. Now I can look like a big mustard bottle with a Garfield uh, head. Go sub to him if you haven't. So one thing different that's going to be starting in this video is a challenge of the day. Now, some of you guys had some very interesting challenges, like going Echo and Habana Shotgun and the Bearing 9. Just a lot of silly ones like shotguns only, but one that really stood out to me that seems simple and it was kind of like a balance of, you know, memeing and, you know, seriousness is red dot and suppressor. So I'll be running that on all my operators just because you guys want to see me in pain. But before we get into the whole video, let's go over the question of the day. Now, a lot of you guys had a lot of good questions of uh, last week's video, but today I'm going to be using this question, which is how do I self-evaluate myself, which is a great question because I like to thrive on saying that that's the only way that you can get better at the game. So how you self-evaluate yourself is trying to break down and pinpointing your biggest issue as a player. For me, if you watch my how I got uh, from plat to champion, I self-evaluate and I break down every single point. For example, it was confidence, mechanics, uh, crosshair placement, all of that. So instead of blaming everybody else for your problems, you need to break down those uh, issues that you have. For example, it could be communication, and then you try to find a solution for it. I hope that helps. If you have any more questions or you want me to go further in depth, ask me uh, a question down below and I'll try to help you further. Okay, so my teammate recognizes me. I'm not cheating, by the way, just for fun, the name. All right, let's hope he's not cheating. I don't want Chunky Cat 1 to get rollback. Now he has a battle life pitcher. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, so we got some regular bands. Uh, I wish my tab would work so I can see who's on my team. But, you know, tabs down all the time just because of, uh, you know, people DDoSing their servers and all that. So this should be a very interesting game. I forgot I need to go Red Dot Suppressor only this game. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Zofia. But I've never run, ran like Red Dot Suppressor. I've re run Red Dot on many, on many operators, but like I don't really see Suppressor used very often. So it's going to be like a huge meme, to be honest. Fuck, I didn't mean to move my drone like that. Valkyrie got my cam. I, I wasted my drone. Pog. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? Oh my god. This looks disgusting. Okay, so we're just checking for spawn peaks. Get the default cam. Does anybody have anything for the hatches? I got breaches. Okay. Okay, so my plan is here is repel on the white window and repel upside down and try to see if anybody's in bitch corner. Because also watch out for velt camps. That's what I'm also trying to do. Because if you pre-fire in this direction, you usually get somebody on that doorway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Valkyrie. No, it was a smoker on That's weird. Also, don't just like when you repel, don't like just break down the window. Like, shoot through it. No one shot. That was Shiko. Shot the kid out. Uh, they jumped out white window. No one mini bar. Wow, that's just weird. Yo, we have piano. Yeah, Zero's getting the refrag. Can you sit on a flank room? Oh, uh, which one? Sorry. It's can three. I got it. I, I I like this teammate. He's communicating so far. That's pretty cool. That mute just kind of threw his body though. Like we in that in that scenario, like we're in a five v four, and he jumps out a white window, and like he basically got an empty frag because of the way he had to rotate. It maybe if he got away with it, it would have been fine. But zero smoked his shit. Shiko, Shiko rotate. Just both of you go get the bomb and push them cocktail together. Your zero cam got destroyed, bro. He stole Shiko. He was on the hard wall. Last scene. The other side, by bar one. Damn, they're throwing this. That's crazy. Still on five ping standing. Damn. 
That, that's that's a that's a tough pill to swallow right there. Run at him one by one. Bro, I didn't know where he was when he killed me. My teammates are already complaining. Until the last two. My teammates had a good idea of what to do in that scenario, but they didn't execute properly. Like the guy gave me a cam that was 100% smart. Uh, Parcel was being a very good teammate, giving me the cam, being smart, using me for his advantage. Because when when your teammate dies, they're just gonna sit there and do nothing. They're not helpful for the team. So the best thing you can do is give them a cam like he did. Like he he used me the best way possible. But I feel like there was a lack of communication on. Um, our teammates parts because it doesn't seem like they're talking so they kind of just gave the bandit his ones and bandit just like took them and smoked them So that kind of sucks, but it's all good. It happens. Everybody everybody um, throws rounds once in a while I'm not too worried about it They have a clash So if can you get this maestro cam it's on one ping that's someone behind bomb I think so. I'm gonna leave that drone there because it's in a good position. Did you find the cam? Yeah, I got it. Nobody's in bakery at the moment. There is ADSs. There's times to a bakery. I'm about to jump in small. Bandit's double door. Of it, uh, B. Shot over his head. I aimed head level. Zoe, can you stun the flash? She's playing close here, Zoe. Can you stun the Maestro swung red hall. Why is Maestro off site? That's so strange. Small bakery and Nomad went off. Wow. Um, I don't I don't even know what to say about these like rounds. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my cam in piano and I'm going to try to take piano control. I kinda wish we banned Valkyrie on this map because it's it's such a wide map. And like you can throw Velcams in so many like different abstract spots that like IQ is still like a advantage for us, but like it's still like gonna be hard to try to counter that uh Velk. Okay. The castle off top uh bitch corner and bathroom. Nobody's in bathroom though. I'm opening it. Okay. Nobody's on white stairs at the moment. Nobody's on wood plaques. Nobody's in cocktail lounge at the moment. I'm checking heaven. Nobody's in heaven. Nobody's up top. They just abort it. We just gotta watch the rotation on white. So if I'm gonna check closet, one's in closet, Tiger. Laundry closet. Yo, tucked, tucked on the bookshelf on five ping. Somebody drop pills. Last one's bottom, like midway. Together. Watch the I got nine. Seconds remaining. Yo, you got a plant, Sled. Ten seconds. He's above. Just stick it. You can't get Sled. Right up, hang, right up, hang. Run, run, run. run. Four ping. Falls down. Just listen for a defuse. My fucking ass went through my like soul, man. Oh my god. This guy just knew though, oh my god. Sledge, I, I I was gonna feel so bad, guys, if I couldn't protect ban like uh, the sledge from the bandit. I'd have pulled my pistol, but uh, what what went right and what went wrong in that round probably is the refrag value didn't seem like it was there most of the time for a lot of the operators, which kind of sucked. Um, but what was good was once we established like a plant, and once we got the plant down, I didn't try to force a gunfight. I reload it, went up top, try to keep my cool, and then I rotate it to tuck in the corner. I shouldn't have tucked in the corner like that because it was kind of like a common, you know, pre-fire. I should have maybe jumped on like uh, uh, C3, like right on the A-bomb right here. 
because it's like so random that he wouldn't expect it so but oh my god i got so lucky with that plant going down man like my i would have been so sad for my team if i didn't get that uh kill so i always prep those windows just in case like one's repelling on the ticket window sounds like repelling on ticket all the way up See, I'm trying to watch this piano window because sometimes people repel up and like it's like silent and I just don't want to be in a predicament where I'm getting smoked by a ghost. Repel him down piano. In, in couch. Damn. I, I didn't know my teammates foot fell back. Under, under, uh, new. Under new. Buck. To go cam. He's in CS I'm now. Just stay, stay alive, Monty. They don't know I'm here. He's going under new again. That, that was a bad spot to put himself in. But Pauls can probably take his ones. Uh, new. Default, default, default. He's running. He's under skylight. Good shit, Parcel. You're the best. Um, honestly, I'm surprised he won this, especially with the UMP. Like, they kind of had the right idea with the with the pinch, but if I was Buck, I would have just pulled out my skeleton key to pinch the pinch him, like on the inner bar. But for me, that round, I kind of put myself in a shitty predicament because I kind of. I kind of like believed in my teammates because I thought like I saw Pauls, I saw everybody else around me, but I didn't realize they rotated off, which was 100% my fault. I, I just need to be more aware of what's around, what's happening around my surroundings. But uh, thank God we have Parzel. He just picked it up there. Unless nobody reinforced the single wall. Damn, nobody did. Um, it looks like I'm not going to hold this actually. Because now like I, I don't have enough time. I, I have too many ADSs to put down. I've... I have two walls to put, uh... Oh wait, he's getting it. Fuck. I guess I'm holding it with no ADSs. I got Ash. Small window. I kind of need to be a little bit more aggressive here. Outside small. I killed Twitch. I'm going to rotate back to site. We have man advantage. He's 50, he's bakery. Do you have a cam in a uh, bakery store or no? I don't know. Yeah. Are you not paying? Heard. Both on ping, both on ping. Heard, heard. They're my. He's shit on me. They're my. They I'm pushing back. Oh. Just chill on site. We have man advantage. Just don't peek. They're my 50. Vigil, if you have an impact, impact right there and then jump up on the stove. You can get a prep angle. They're my goddamn. I guess he doesn't have a fucking. He doesn't have an impact. Impacts. I'm laying down and playing passive. Thanks, man. <laughs> he was so lost, bro. Oh, man. I, I I was playing a very risky game, playing Bakery with no ADSs, because I thought nobody was going to reinforce that single wall. So I was playing a more aggressive angle, which I wouldn't really consider doing if you're in that same predicament. Um, I would just, you know, try to put ADS down and try to communicate with your team to put down a reinforcement. So that's 100% my fault. Uh, I just, you know... I'm kind of used to people just reinforcing that, so I just didn't reinforce that. But it was good that I got aggressive on that Twitch when I was able to, and then I swung out and Ace just couldn't hit my sh hit his shots. So I just immediately rotated back to site because I had man advantage. Where? Yeah, I got you. 
Seems like everybody's up top. How many drones do you guys shoot? I got one. Okay. Okay, I heard. They're outside mining, droning. Yeah, they might try to a take A plus. I'm just gonna play site because nobody else is really playing site. It's sad that we don't have rotates nor like feet holes. Mining, be but you know, I saw that we brought a dock and nobody brought a Jaeger. I was gonna bring mute. Fuck chilling outside mining. He's they're in uh, mining, guys. Heard. She, IQ mining. Sixty health. He needs help. There's like two in my God, bro. Like, there's there's no lines of sight. That's why you need the lines of sight. Damn, we even had a shotgun. That's tough, man. Still under skylight right now. They're on A bomb on the hatch. IQ, you can wall banger. She's on five ping. She's swinging wide on the hatch. That's bomb. Yo, go for defuse. Go for defuse. But two are up top. Both two. Both two are. They're dropping pillar. Dropping pillar. Drop pillar. He's gonna go reading 90. Fuck, man. We have 90 cam. He's in train. In train. Ooh, don't don't do it. Ooh, this guy is nuts on him, bro. Going 90. Going 90. Right now, four bank. Back in train. I had you covered from the start. I guess he didn't believe in the callo to uh, get the defuse down the Valkyrie. That kind of sucks. But something that went wrong is probably just our operator selection. To be honest, man, like, like I was trying to look at positioning because, like, when I when I defend and I, especially in a solo queue atmosphere, I try to look at gaps in our defense. And a huge gap of ours was nobody was in like actual sight, the site I was in, and we just didn't have the proper like operator selection. Like I said, so it kind of sucked trying to. Um, defend that site and then like he's saying they need help and i'm trying to i'm trying my hardest to like make a hole so i can watch run in because if i just run over there i don't know if anybody's 90 reading and like that's just kind of stupid um if i just run over there but it, that that does suck but it's all good what's up where's your nearest table line? uh bar and then cocktail lounge yeah only, uh, there's three of them in cocktail lounge. God, bro. Oh, fuck. I, it's under skylight. What the fuck? Default, default, default. Planning default. The operator remaining. Right up there. Calm down. I, I feel like a huge issue with our defense is we're not being aggressive enough when we need to be and the enemy team is just very aggressive so like they're playing off each other and we're just not so what happens is our teammates uh like one person dies the, the, like the enemy team just collapses into sight and they're they're just more coordinated than us that's really what it is man and we're, we're just struggling with that right now so it kind of sucks to be honest but it's all good About to just repel in, say fuck it. There's a goo mine. Yo, I think there's a cam on the Christmas tree, though. Where is it? Christmas tree, yeah. Once, once, uh, top, uh, wait, oh. I'm making a red flank. I'm up, boy. Do we have a drop? Just hold there. Just hold there. Nobody's in cocktail. Cocktail looks clear. How's freezer? 
cocktails play or take it though? I got lots of under skylight. Under skylight. Under skylight. Ah. You guys need to touch him. He's under skylight. God. Huh, that that was just another frustrating L. Like they say he's under skylight, like they could have just rotated to me to cocktail lounge. And like I have a goo in my foot, right? So I don't know. They kind of just uh we kind of just fold it. There was a lot of mistakes that were made, and I guess that's the whole point of I guess that's the whole point of these videos, I guess, is just um you know, self-analyzing what's going on, like me as a player, and then these players too. Like, one, of course, like, there was just lack of communication around the whole team. When you're in a five-man atmosphere like that, you just don't have... You need the communication, especially when you're facing teams that's in the five-man. And we have one guy's mic that doesn't work. We had a guy that barely spoke in. And then we just had somebody that didn't really have a microphone. So, it was really hard for me to play off my teammates and do what was needed. But, you know, it kind of sucks. But, uh, you know, so far, this is the second bad week of solo queue videos in a row i tried my best to play off teammates like i i tried to call out try to you know get on drones when they needed me to but it's just like you can see just from for example the very first round where it was a 3v1 and or a 4v1 and they let bandit smoke for them that communication and refrag value is so important so if you were to take one thing from this game if you were to if you were to take and learn one thing from this video i would 100 percent say Try your best to learn how to play with your teammates. Like, learn to play refrags. Because there was no refrag value in that first ex first round. And same with the last round. They singled out the Jaeger. Uh, the guy told me to hold white, so I did. And they just kind of, you know, gave him a two-on-one. two, two on one, uh, Because they said he was under skylight. I took a goo out of my foot. I should have probably took that goo out of my foot. But it, it sucks. But, you know, I'll get him next time. I'm hoping that I can get at least plat one to diamond on this solo queue count by the end of the season. But I play one game a week, so I don't know if I should, you know, play off of the count or just keep doing the videos. But if you guys want to see, like, more solo queue videos a week, let me know. And I'll probably upload more because I don't want to be stuck in Plat 3 this season because I played 15 games. But besides that, thank you guys so, so much for watching the video. This is Garfield's Doc. Uh, one love. Thank <laughs> you.